guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to be reviewing some of my art supplies for you guys, so you guys really seem to enjoy these types of videos. So if you guys would like to see more videos like this from me, then make sure you comment down below, and I'll be more than happy to do that for you. And also, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and that like button. So let's start out by showing you guys what I'm going to be reviewing today. So I have some paint brushes from Real Value. And I also have this acrylic paint set from Liquidix. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to mention about these paints before we get into this video is that um, on the Amazon description box, uh, on the Amazon description box, they said that um, uh, Liquidix usually uses the most um, high quality pigments in the world, and um, for these basic set uh, acrylics, they used a lower concentrated pigment um, so that's a little interesting and without further ado I'm really excited to get into this video so let's get right into it okay guys so here we are and I have the acrylic paints with me and there's 48 colors that come in this set so uh, on the back they're all listed separately so there's 48 colors and as you can see there's some metallic colors there's some primary colors and some mixed colors that were added into this set. So this set is pretty uh, cute. It actually shows all of the colors um, that the set includes on the front. And um, I have the paint brushes with me as well. So I also have some of my paintings with me today. So we have about three of them. We have uh, the smallest painting that I am showing you guys today. Um, this is abstract art and second painting I'm showing you guys today, also abstract art, and the third painting and final painting that I'm showing you guys today, um, and the biggest piece of art. So this is just like a still life um, painting. So that's what all three of my um, paintings look like, and that we're going to be comparing uh, the colors to what uh, colors are in this set. I use similar uh, paints to paint this uh, these paintings, so I decided it would be interesting to compare the colors and see which one's more vibrant and which one um, is like uh, which one I would prefer over the other if I had had this set at the time. So um, before I go ahead and do that, I'm just going to give my rating for these paintbrushes because I have reviewed um, paintbrushes that are similar to this. And if you guys want to check out that video, art supply reviewing my art supplies too, I'll leave the link in the description box below so you guys can check that out. And if you guys want to get any of these art supplies that I'm reviewing today, then make sure you check out the description box below while I, where I will leave the links down below for Amazon. Um, so here are what the paintbrushes look like and something that caught me off guard were these little caps. So they can actually come in handy because if you don't have these caps then your bristles will end up probably going bad and your brush will go bad and you won't be able to use it and you know very time consuming to wash the brushes and kind of just like make sure that they go back to their original shape so I think these caps are actually really helpful and I think that paintbrush selling companies should definitely add these caps to their products so take note. <laughs> um, so yeah 9 out of 10 for me. Um, so now let's move on to um, seeing if uh, the paint, which, which paint I prefer um, over the other. So let's open up this package. So in this package, which uh, this looks like a shoebox. I don't know why, it just reminds me of a shoebox. There's uh, four rows of boxes and there's 12 paints in each box. So let's take one of these out. So yeah, 12, um, 12 paints in each of the boxes, and again, four rows, so let's just take all of them out. So right away, the metallics do catch my eye. You can see that there's silver, there's um, gold, there's bronze, and there's copper. Copper looks really pretty. I actually am interested to use that later on. Um, so... Let's start out by comparing um, the red that the darkest red that they have in this set to the darkest red that is on this painting. So this uh, this red is actually pretty dark, and um, uh, I'm gonna be comparing this like little part right here if you guys can see that. Okay, so the darkest red that they probably have in this set would be in the first row. In case you guys were looking, 
And um, this would probably be it. I think this is their darkest red. It is a little maroonish and pinkish, but um, it definitely is still red and it definitely does still count because I don't think that this red is uh, comes even close to the red that I have here. So in comparison, this one's definitely going to be a lot closer. Of course, this one is a little more red and a little more vibrant, while this one is a little more muted and, of course, a little more pink. So now comparing um, the orange, the yellow, and the green that is on this. So let's start out with the orange. So let's uh, compare this uh, bright orange uh, in this little section of the painting here. Um, so this orange is actually a little bright. So I think we're gonna we're not gonna be looking for a very dark orange, but let's see how many oranges they actually have. Um, so it looks like they actually only have two oranges in this entire set right here. In the first two rows, you can see that there's only two oranges and there's no oranges moving forward after that. Um, but this one is definitely really bright and this one is a little, uh, a little less, a little less, uh, a little less bright. Um, but in comparison, let's see which one matches up best. So, comparing with the lighter orange that they have in this set, it is a little lighter, so let's see this one. Okay, so definitely a lot more, a lot closer, but this one is just a, t a teeny wincy bit, uh, uh, this one's just a teeny, the paint that they have in the set is definitely a little brighter and a little more has a little more vibrance to it so I definitely think that this is a uh, really pretty and I think it would have definitely brought out um, a brighter look in the painting but yeah here's what this painting looks like again um, so now for um, the yellow that's on this painting um, so this yellow is not really on the dark side so I think we're gonna have to cancel out the yellow here um, this yellow is like an oak yellow, it's actually kind of close to the yellow that we're looking at, sorry, right here. Um, so yeah, this is actually really close, but this one is a little brighter, so I think I would stick to the yellow that I have on the painting here. And, uh, finally for last, we have the green that is all the way on the bottom of this painting. So there are different hues of green on this little part, so... Let's see which one we can find that matches up with um, any of the greens that I have over here. So we have four greens, which is not a bad amount of greens, considering that there's 48 colors in this entire set. Um, however, I do think that uh, the neon green that they have here and this brighter green are definitely going to be eliminated because... Um, I, as you can see, I don't really have many bright um, greens on this little part, so we're going to be looking at these two. And in comparison, I think this will definitely come close to what I was using on the painting. Um, definitely seeing more vibrance, though, in the set, which I really do like um, and appreciate. Um, so finally, we have the biggest painting that I'm showing you guys today. Uh, here's what that looks like again, in case you guys wanted to see. So, um, I, on the back of this, um, on the back of the packaging, you can see that there's a sign, um, and it's labeled as number 28, and it actually looks pretty close to what we have here, so let's, uh, see if we can try and find that paint, shall we? Alright, so here where all of their, whoops, here where all of their blues are, and their blues are actually really pretty, I think the blues, um, are definitely gonna be, like, my favorite color out of like this entire set um this one's definitely really pretty but anyways off topic this one is um probably the brightest and lightest blue that they have and in comparison it's definitely a lot brighter as you can see mine is a little faded as well but this one is definitely brighter and I think it actually um has a little more um color to it. It's definitely a, a little bit of a darker blue. Um, however, I don't really know if I would have added this in onto um, my canvas just because I think that uh, it was important to, um, uh, to have a contrast with the darker blue that's down here. Speaking of the darker blue, let's see if any of the blues that we have here match up. So I think that this blue, which is the next um, lightest and brightest color that we have 
Um, and I think that it actually does match up pretty well. It's definitely a little darker than I would have used or liked. Um, and it's also, uh, this, the light, uh, the, <laughs> the blue that I have on the canvas is definitely a lot lighter. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely seeing that a lot. I'm using lighter colors on my canvas, um, rather than darker colors. So that's definitely something that I've been noticing. And, um, let's see, can we match up with this? dark blue here. This dark blue is actually one of my favorite colors ever. Like, look at how pretty that is. Um, but I don't think any of these really match up. I would have to say, uh, this would probably be the closest that we could get. But apart from that, yeah, that's, um, all of the colors that are in the set, um, that, um, I'm comparing to what's in my paintings. And I definitely do like the set. What I noticed a lot was that some of the colors were um, definitely a lot more like, had like either a lot more of the color added into it, a lot more pigment, sorry, a lot more pigment added to it or a lot less. Um, something common that I've noticed with like every single paint set that I've used so far um, is that their reds are always going to be like a little lighter than um, the ones that I used. Um, but apart from that, this set is actually pretty good. It definitely has a great variation. I'm surprised it came with metallic colors as well. And the copper is definitely really pretty. I just really like that color and of course the blues. But yeah, for the paints, I think I would probably have to give it a solid 9 out of 10 as well as the paintbrushes. Um, so yeah, again, if you guys want to see more videos like this from me, then make sure you comment down below. And uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that like button. And so yeah, that is all for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell again. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!